Good morning, DLV. How's everybody doing? What's kicking chickens? Speaking of chickens, Mark has a trick to show you with hard boiled eggs. How to get the shells off without sit sitting there and like tediously picking off piece by piece. All right, to get all your shells off your hard boiled eggs, first you just crack one end like this, flip it over, get the other like this. So you got both sides. On the bottom, make a big hole. <laughs> On the top, you make a small hole. All right, so just whatever it is, the bottom hole just gotta be bigger than the top one. <laughs> and the next part is you blow onto the small hole without looking like an idiot. <laughs> I can't stop laughing about this. <laughs> this is an easy way to get the shell off your eggs. Nobody looks at you or anything. It's just very nonchalant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is this a bad one? It's not gonna work? I'm gonna slow peel this one and then we'll try the other one. <laughs> the trick's gonna work on the second one. The first one was so smooth, it just like <laughs> came out. <laughs> what did it do? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this one this one should work. What what adjustments have you made? Like why didn't the first one work? After you hard boil eggs, you know you're supposed to stick them in ice water, like tss. Right. Immediately. And it like separates the shell. I don't know why that one didn't work. <laughs> Maybe I didn't get it in the ice water soon enough. Alright, this one's definitely a solid one. This can be no mishaps right here. T minus three. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. My breakfast is ruined. This is, where's the trailer? Bro, this is fire. Ah, little mini workout complete, and today is kind of exciting. I'm going up to St. Petersburg to look at a place to live. This is the last city I was considering moving to in Florida, so it's either this or one of the other two I've looked at, and it's kind of the final steps of the whole process. Pretty exciting. We got here a little bit early, but we uh, are right across the street from this epic spot that I keep hearing about called the Taco Bus. I hear good things, so we're gonna try it. Taco Monday, Taco Monday. Let me mess that up, it doesn't sound right. It sounds right, it's probably right. It's probably right. But let's keep our wits about us because tomorrow is Meatloaf Tuesday. Yes. Just another Manic Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check out this house. It's, uh, it's not gonna be the biggest house in the world, but what do they always say about finding a place to live? Location, location. And how close are you to Starbucks? This is cool. The MLS doesn't particularly like me trying to search on it. So here's the house. Uh, this is pretty much the main living room area. I don't know if my couch will fit, but uh, let's try and keep an open mind. Here's the kitchen. That's it. <laughs> but it's a nice historic house. I think it's here, 1920s? Yes, I want to say 1923. I will not quote you on 1923, but that sounds like a good guess. Everything has been kind of re, uh, redone, remodeled. It's not bad. So it has a pool, but I would not be able to use it because it belongs to the owners. Uh, who live next door, I think. Yeah. I appreciate you showing me around. Thank you oh, so much. Of course. This is potential spot numero dos. That's uh, Spanish for two, for those of you who are curious. We have somebody showing the room to me, but surprise, surprise, she does not want to be on video. My theory about people who show apartments still holds true, by the way. Ooh. Ah, I'm on video. <laughs> Quick, duck, duck, <laughs> duck. I'm really not want to be on video. I got you, you're not gonna be on it. It's kinda nice though. I like this. Master bath looks solid. They made it look like some dude already lived here. <laughs> I like that, like, this could be you. That could be your bike helmet up there. Wait a minute. Does it come with the zebra paint? No. It doesn't? No, but I don't know. You can hire someone to paint it. <laughs> Would you like anything to drink? Um, 
I'm good. Thank you, though. I appreciate that. Look at this. Dual shower heads. So that's if I ever get a pup and I need to give him a bath, he can have his own shower head. You say it's gross? No. <laughs> She's really funny. We got the washer and dryer included, and it leads right to the potty. Ooh, it's a cool little pool. I like it. I like it a lot. We got our gym here. We got this dude holding a beach ball with a lady. That doesn't make you want to work out. I don't know what will. Let's see, what do these weights go up to? 50? I don't know if it's heavy enough. That's, that's some points off for sure. <laughs> this is kind of fancy smancy. You can be assigned your own private climate controlled wine cellar. So it's a wine locker. It's a wine locker. I heard you say cellar, but like I would get one of these. And I don't know what, what the science is, but if you want your wine to be climate controlled, there it is. 58 degrees. 58 degrees? Yeah, so they keep it at a, at a 58 degrees, which according to whomever somewhere is the perfect temperature. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. I thought you would say that. Oh, good. Per good. There's a conference room. This is where I can have all my... Um, all my meetings, we go over, go over the quarterly budget, talk about the uh, debits and credit of the uh, equity funds from uh, the year's fiscal capital gains. Mm. That'll work, thank you. And I guess this is kind of something that uh, more and more apartment complexes are having, like a rooftop, kind of grassy knoll area where you can feel like you have a yard. And Mark and I didn't realize that this looked like this, but check out this view of this nice little rooftop lounge. I was hoping I was gonna be like, check it out. And like the drop's not behind me, it's like over there. <laughs> that's Tropicana Field. That's, uh, that's where the Rays play. That's where we the Kings played for a couple of the uh, Rays games. And it's right there. That's kind of fun. I like that. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of like the suit you wear when you're like trying to mess with sharks. After a day of checking out some more apartments, I think that calls for a Wawa stop. Let me get a little Wawa sandwich. <laughs> oh, look what came. Danny Claus brought a present. Okay, we need to have a uh, ceremony for your mattress that currently isn't that nice because it's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to help you take this down? Sure. Okay. Where are we going? Shut it. Oh. All right, shall we? I went ahead and I bought you guys the used model. I hope that's cool. So this has been broken in by a family for seven years. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready? I feel like I'm opening your gift. Do you want to open this? <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> that was fast. That's wow. cool. Nice. I'm like genuinely excited for you guys. Thank you very much. Of course. Can't wait. Thanks for harboring your son. You're welcome, sweetie. Is it bedtime yet? Yeah, do you, uh, do you guys need me to uh, bed test this? <laughs> do you guys wouldn't mind just turning off the lights just a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's doing it. Yeah, you guys should try it out. Tell you what, I'm gonna come back here at like three o'clock in the morning and ask you, <laughs> I'm gonna ask you how it was. And then you give me a full, like maybe two minute long review sure. in, at three o'clock in the morning. Got it. <laughs> and as always, of course, you guys can get your own mattress at lisa.com forward slash DLV. 75 bucks off, thanks to yours truly. Not bragging, just saying. Go to lisa.com forward slash DLV, get yours right now. Mark and I just came to the uh, local watering hole to have a pint, as they say here in Europe. And we ran into Matt, who is a DLVer. He wants to say something to you guys. 
Hey DLV, how we doing? <laughs> Around these parts we say what's kicking chicken. What's so the, lucky cheat. Lucky cheat. Proof. <laughs> proof, proof, proof. <laughs> Cheers, sir. Cheers, my friend. Come kick it. Come hang out. Alright, brother, take it easy. Right. Nice chat with you. Yes, sir. You guys have a good night. You too. Alright guys, just want to say thank you for watching another episode of the MLV. Um, make sure you guys um Drink. What is this? The, this is the Mark Show. I mean The Mar the Mark Show. <laughs> <laughs> it's original, right? There's no other Mark shows out there. First I've ever heard. Yeah. Thank you for watching the MLV. I really appreciate it guys. Uh, we had a fun day in St. Pete. Uh, search for a house for uh, like my brother, something that like that. Major league vlogging. Major league vlogging. <laughs> Sweatbands, <laughs> trophies. Finish, finish it up, Rook. I don't get the camera a lot, so I really want to just drink this in. L look at them, address them. Uh, viewers of the Mark Show. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing uh, to this program. Uh, program. Yeah. Spook my grandpa said in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> I originally used to hold the camera just to like mock him and now I can't. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching the DLV. Uh, uh -huh. We had a sweet day in St. Petersburg. Tomorrow we're going to be doing more stuff. Something mm -hmm. outdoorsy. Nice. I've been begging for it. Tell him that really funny joke you told me earlier. That really funny joke. <laughs> um, what's the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? Huh? Snowballs. <laughs> I didn't think you'd have a joke ready. That was... That's... Snowballs. Okay. Feel good. Oh, like testicles. <laughs> what are we getting into, man? What do I do? We need to watch the Bucks game and the Rays game at the same time. I don't know how that's possible, but... We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Jamming and some runs to it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll just do that. Three things are a great idea. <laughs> Two of those three things. Yeah. Two of those three. Yeah. No, no, right? No, right. Hi, skaters! Hi! I want to figure out what kind of dog you are because I want one of you. DLV, I need your help. I need your help, big time. When I get a dog, I want it to be just like Gator. But nobody knows what he is. He's kind of like a huge mutt. 